Hi, this is Gali Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I really hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So, how are you doing today? I hope you are doing well and you're feeling safe and most of all that you're also feeling courageous because today the quote of the day is feel the fear and do it anyway by Susan Jeffers. This quote, which was actually the title of her book, really had a strong impact on me. I find that just the title of the book is a great inspiration in itself. This quote is all about being courageous and letting your truth guide you rather than letting fear guide your actions. Courage is about doing the right thing at the right time, no matter how we are feeling about the situation. It is having the courage to follow our passions and to follow our values. And also, and most importantly, is to follow our heart. Our purpose in life cannot be followed if we do not have the courage to take the right and positive action steps. Aristotle said that courage is the first of human qualities because it is the quality which guarantees all the others. If you really think about it, without courage we cannot be true to ourselves. We will prefer to be accepted by the group and not take the risk of standing out. We will not be willing to leave an unfulfilling job or an unfulfilling relationship or a bad habit if we do not find the courage to do so. When we are not being true to ourselves, we are allowing our soul to slowly die in us. And this is very sad. Courage allows us to follow our heart, and this is what being true to yourself is really all about. There are things that you may not be able to explain in words, but they are your truth. And if you have the courage to follow your path, no matter what other people think about you or say or do, then you are really claiming your life back. You are living your life. Little acts of courage daily will ensure that you are pushing yourself to become a better and better version of you, towards the ideal version of you with the ideal life that you wish to have. Having courage is the only way to having real freedom. Without having courage, you will forever stay poor. And poor, I don't mean only the financial from a financial perspective. You, you will be blocking out all forms of abundance coming your way without having courage. And this is the power of fear. This is the power that fear has over us. It can block all abundance if it is not slain down by daily acts of courage and when you allow fear to define you you will not reach any of your goals think of all the people that you admire in this world you know about them and admire them because of the way they lead their lives they took risks and they managed to succeed sometimes against all odds we can all each and every one of us be courageous any act of courage firstly asks us to know what is right and to know and understand our own values and to be faithful to them. Now, think about fear as like a chain holding you down and an act of courage is finding the strength and the character within you to find a way to release yourself from these chains no matter what. You may be left with some scars from the chains, but once you have left the chains of fear behind, although you, you have the scars as a memory to, of that bondage, you will still be free since you claim the strength that you have within you to overcome your fears. No one else can do what you came here to this world to do. No one. Only you. You, you have every, each and every one of us has special, special gifts and we are all unique. So it's time to step up into your courage and claim the life that is rightfully yours. We will always have self-doubt and be anxious because anything we have not previously done or experienced is new for us and anything new is scary. But staying in your comfort zone because of fear, for fear from discomfort or fear from anything will leave you feeling powerless and you will never reach your full potential by staying on the sofa. And when you don't go courageously towards your goals, even small goals, you will start to slowly diminish in power. You will feel yourself becoming smaller and smaller and more and more bland until the light within you will completely die out. Then, unfortunately, we're like living dead people 
And there are many people that live their life like this, all of their dreams slipping further and further away. I remember Les Brown once said something like, uh, a graveyard is the place with the most lost potential. <laughs> we will all die at one point and this is inevitable. And we will all reach the graveyard. But to have been given this life and choose not to fully experience it and not to fully bring our gifts to this world is slowly bringing you to a death even if you are still physically alive. Not having the courage to overcome difficulties because of fears running through your head is your own fault. So find the courage to look at your life and see where you, where you are today. Have the courage to take responsibility for playing a part in bringing yourself to where you are today. And know that it doesn't really matter where you are today if you have the courage within you to change what you do not like about yourself and your life. It only matters where you are today if you plan on staying there and doing nothing to grow and improve yourself and your life. Now, the hardest part of being courageous is to tell the truth, your truth, no matter what other people will think or say about you, no matter if this may cause other people to feel uncomfortable or angry around you. And another hard thing is to listen to people and to have the courage to learn from them. This means leaving your ego aside and putting it away. You do not always need to know everything or to have all the answers and to always be right. In fact, vulnerability is a courageous act. Showing that you are human and that all sides of being human are within you is an act of courage. We are all human and we all have all the parts of being human within us. But most of us do not have the courage to bring them out and to show them. You deserve to be loved and accepted just as you are right now. And only through courage will you allow this love and acceptance to come into your life. You matter and your life matters. And the only way to make your life, to prove that your life matters, is by having the courage to, so, to show your true self in all, with all of its colors to all of the world. Life is short, so claim your life and live it just as you wish it to be. Take daily acts of courage to move yourself closer to your dream life, for this is what you came here to do. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a set of questions that you want to ask yourself so that the answers will help you move your life to a better place for you. So the questions of the day are, what are your dreams and what are you doing to move yourself closer to your dreams? Where do you want to be in 5, 10, 15 years? And what courageous act can you do today to ensure that you will get there? So as usual, I recommend writing these questions and your answers to them in a notebook especially prepared for these co coaching sessions so that you can look over them and make sure that you are moving in the right direction towards the life that you deserve and that you desire. So the affirmation of the day is, I feel the fear and do it anyway. It's very simple and straight to the point. I feel the fear and do it anyway. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you can today because an affirmation has the power to completely change your consciousness and your mind and transform your actions. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the content. I upload new videos almost every day. And also please visit my website for anything to do with health and a natural way of life and I hope you uh, have a wonderful day today. Thank you very much for joining.